Hello everybody, I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Ashlyn and I'm very excited about today's video. I'm gonna be doing a house tour and I wanted to do this video because I love watching house tours and I know a lot of people do, especially when you're in the military and you're moving to different places a lot. I just thought it would be nice to do a house tour of the base that we are stationed at. We do live, it's base housing, but it's off the base. So there's base housing that's on the base and then there's base housing that's off the base and it's just a big neighborhood and some of the houses are a little bit different. We do live in the newer housing. I believe it was built in 2012 and then there's older housing throughout the neighborhood which obviously the newer housing is going to be very different from the old housing but I feel like all the houses that I've been to the new and the old ones because we do have some friends that live in older housing I feel like they're all pretty nice if you're getting stationed here at Offit and you don't get a new house or there's no new house options don't get stressed about going to the older houses because I really do feel like that the older houses here are pretty good and they have their ups and downs just as the new ones do if anyone has been looking or is moving to the area or moving into Rising View, which is what our neighborhood is called, then we live in the Zelkova housing. If you go online on risingview.com, they have different houses listed on there and then they have the different floor plans and ours is the Zelkova. So I hope y'all enjoy this video and if you have any questions about my house decor or any questions about living on base housing off the base, feel free to comment down below. I'd love to answer your questions but without further ado, let's get started. Okay everybody, so this is what the front of the house looks like. It is two stories. Jordan was in A1C when he got this house. So it, he's not like an officer or anything. He's not like high up. So I don't know how the housing like picking goes, but this is what the front looks like. Hi boy. I know. So we just got some stuff on the porch just to make it look a little cute here. But we have a little sitting area. It's not it's not that big, but it's big enough to at least sit. So this is the inside. It's our front door, little sign. So once you walk in, there's like this landing to your right, and then you have the staircase, and then you kind of have like this open floor right here. So if you were to look at the floor plan on the Zelkova housing, I believe this is like an extra room. I'm not too sure, but it's kind of misleading because it's really all one big room. There's no wall or anything. So, um, so we'll just start over here. There is a lot of lighting. There's a lot of windows that you can open, which is great because I like the house to have a lot of natural light because the light in here is not very, um, it's very yellow. You can change out the light bulbs, but why would you want to if you don't have to pay for it? But we just got back from church, so I'm just kind of like in my little comfy outfit right now. So, in this corner, I just kind of put a basket, a mirror, and a plant. As you can tell, my house is very neutral colors. I'm not a big color person. I like the farmhouse-y kind of look. Um, just very neutral. So then we have this down here my friend got us when we got married. It's so cute. It's this little barn. We got some pictures down there. Then here's the Furbo camera. We really love it so far if you didn't see one of our last vlogs we just got it and the thing is i know it's kind of in an awkward position but the camera reaches all the way to the stairs and then all the way to about here so you can see everything the couch the stairs and thor likes to sit on his bed on the stairs so that's kind of why we had it there so we just kind of have it nice set up here and then jordan and i think this is like the most awkward thing in the world but they have these three random windows right here i don't understand like what you would really do with them i mean you could get little curtains but <laughs> he's okay i know look at that tail so we've got this little blanket ladder right here and then cute little sign my uncle actually made this crate for us for christmas that we just put some blankets in and i really need to stain it i was going to do that this weekend but i never got time so I'll actually stain it probably this week. Let me just throw some blankets in there. So this technically, babe, what was this room called right here? Was this just like... Like a family room? A family room? Okay, that's what it was. And then this was supposed to be the dining room? Yes, so if you look at the chandelier, this is actually the dining room, which I don't know who thought of this, but if you look at the floor plan, this is actually the dining room. And it is not 
what I feel like should be used as a dining room. Almost every single person that we've seen their houses, they use this as a living room. So don't, if you're moving here and it says dining room, I feel like it would be much easier to use it as a living room. So that's what we did. So like we mentioned before, nice big windows, which I really like about this house. And then we just put our couch against the window because, well, we would, we've been debating on moving it because the TV gets a glare. We could easily get blackout curtains, but fun fact, these are actually just drop cloths that we got from Walmart and then we just hung them up. So super cheap, like $10 a curtain. So then we just have this little coffee table right here, little plants. Then we got this entertainment center and our TV. And then we just have a cute little chair here, the pillow, and then Thor's, Thor's toys right here. So there's kind of this area too that kind of separates the dining room and the living room from each other, but we're in the Midwest and it's cold here. So we have to have a humidifier because if not, the static here is gnarly. So if you're moving here, please consider getting a humidifier for like the top floor and the bottom floor. So we just have that, and then we have Thor, the goodness the boys, and then a Scentsy that's burning that I can't even smell, so we probably need new waxes. So if you walk over here, this is technically the living room. As you can see, the fan and the light, but we use it as the dining room because that just makes most sense. Jordan and I were kind of confused too how this would be the living room because that wall, you know, it would be good to have a TV on, but then the couch would be here. And then there's a door there. So how would you see there's, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I've seen people put their TV here on this, but I feel like that's too risky. I don't, I don't like that. So we just have this little table here and then just some candles on each end. The other chair is actually upstairs in Jordan's office. So that's why we only have three chairs. We actually got this sign as a wedding gift. So thank you, Savannah. And then just got a little wall here. And then this window leads outside to the backyard so this is our backyard we just kind of have a table here a fire pit and then a grill and then that goes to our neighbor's yard so you can have a fence obviously there's fences there's other houses with fences here but we decided not to have a fence because Thor would jump it anyways so we just didn't really see the point in having it if you do want more privacy and you don't want other people in your yard getting a fence is a great option it costs more monthly to have the fence too so we just kind of found no point but rising view has tons and tons of playgrounds so that's also a great thing here and i feel like all the yards are a pretty decent size they're not like super super tiny so then now we have this kitchen which is a pretty good size kitchen i feel like for military housing so we just have our knife block over here we got this stove. All the appliances besides the washer and dryer came with the house. So it does come with the stove and the microwave. And we do have some room up here, which is nice to decorate with. Just got some cute little things here. Pretty sure everything up here is from Hobby Lobby. Besides that little like green plant thing right there is from Dollar Tree, surprisingly enough. So, stove's okay. It's not the most awesome stove, but it works. And then the fridge is included with the house as well. We just have Thor's treats and stuff stashed up there. And then pretty decent sized fridge. And then this is what the rest of it looks like. There is no pantry in the Zelkova um, housing plan, which is kind of odd to me because I feel like a lot of families have this house and there's no pantry, so we just kind of keep our food inside the cabinets a sink and then just a little like sink landing I guess you would say so then this door leads to the garage which there's nothing really special the garage is a two-car garage and it is very spacious there's a little like nook right there and then we just have fridge right there and then this is the downstairs bathroom. So you just came out of the garage and then here's the downstairs bathroom. It is a half bath. There's a toilet, the sink 
right there. And then I just decorated it with some, with a wreath and a little cute thing right there. A little sign. And then this looks out to the backyard. And then a sign. And yes, there was a towel rod here. Jordan tried to take it out and we thought that it would come out clean, but it didn't. And then we kind of made this like Thor's area. Kind of we put his food here. And then we just put up a little sign. And then we hung some of his like accessories here. It's not all of them, but that's just some of them. And then the laundry room is kind of small, but it's doable. We put up those signs. This rack doesn't come with the house. We just put it up. But I mean, I feel like when we eventually leave that we'll probably just leave that there. They do not supply washer and dryers. So we did buy ours at Lowe's, but you can also rent them from like a washer dryer type place here. Forgot to mention it does come with a dishwasher. It's not the best dishwasher, but I mean, it's better than absolutely nothing. Then we have Jordan's just little coffee station right here. All right, now it is time to go upstairs. So like I said, there's this landing and this is kind of just where we put Thor's bed. We did put it over by the couch over here, but he didn't really like it that at that area. So we just put it at the landing and he likes to sit here and kind of look over the living room. So there are stairs up here. So we'll go. My stepmom actually made this for us for our wedding and I absolutely love it. Just has our name on it. And then it's a window from my old house that I grew up in my childhood that we um, had to take out the windows. And so they actually saved it and she made it into something that we could use in our house now, which I thought was super cool. Okay, so you come up here and then there's gonna be a bunch of different doors all at once. So we'll come in here first. This is the guest bedroom for us. This house does come with three bedrooms and so we made this one the guest one. So like I mentioned before, nice windows. This bedroom's pretty roomy. It does have a nice closet. Jordan does put his clothes in here. Our closet's big enough for both of our clothes, but he just kind of likes his stuff separate because he is not here that often. So he just kind of gave me the whole thing. Jordan's mom made us this too as a wedding gift, which was super cute. We just decided to put in here. Then we just have two side tables and then this is a full size bed. So you could easily put a king or queen in here, I feel like and it would fit perfectly fine. Be a little tight, but I just put some cute stuff. The end tables are from his old parents' house, so we decided to put them in here. It was perfect. They fit in here just right. Then once you walk out of the guest bedroom, this is another bedroom that Jordan had turned into an office. So he just has some desks here, I believe he got from Office Depot or Office Max, I can't remember. That's the other kitchen table chair but he just has his little area here. And yes, he does have Ray Dunn stuff. I think that is so funny. We were at TJ Maxx and he was like, oh my gosh, this stuff is so cool. So he does have some Ray Dunn stuff and then he just kind of put some of his coins there. And then his mom also got him this. And I think that is super cool. So he just put it there. We never got to hanging it up. We might hang it up like right there. And he kind of just wanted the, his office theme to be you know, just very with his job and he has security forces in the military and the Air Force. So he has a lot of stuff. I made him this in high school. It's our date anniversary. Then he just has a lot of stuff in here. And then a golf bag and another double door closet. Then you step out of his room and this is the guest bathroom. And so anytime we have guests over, this is what they use. We rarely ever use this bathroom. I use this bathroom sometimes to take baths because this is the only one that has a bathtub in this house. So you have pretty good storage here. You got three drawers and then two opening um, uh, cabinets right here. So then just kind of put some stuff here from a little basket. And I got some just decor on the wall. And then like I said, there's the one vanity, a toilet, and then we put up these shelves, but the towel racks do come with the house. And then if you turn around, here is the shower. It's pretty nice. 
shower. Like I said, we never really use it. Unless I'm taking a bath, then I'll use it for that. And then you come out, and so don't judge. The storage room is a little messy, but whose storage room isn't? But this is just a really small flex room because this house does not have an attic. So we just kind of put stuff in here. These are Jordan's birthday presents. The next vlog is actually going to be for his birthday weekend. So stay tuned. I'm super excited. But all those clothes are Play-Doh's closet clothes. And those bags. So the storage room is pretty nice. I feel like if you wanted like a playroom for the kids or something that was separate, I feel like this would be a great area for it. This right here. So you just walked up the stairs. This is just a storage closet right here. And then now we'll head to the master bedroom. So this is our room. It is very spacious. I am very thankful for the room that we have in here. So if I know some people may ask, our bedroom set is from Nebraska Furniture Mart. So this is just the front of our bed. I feel like the space in here is so good. And then this obviously faces the front. We have a TV in the corner because we do have our mirror here. And so it would just look funny to have the TV above it. So we decided to just mount it in the corner, which I feel like was a good idea. So I just have it kind of decorated throughout just some stuff. And then I share half the dresser and then he has this half the dresser. Thor's bed that he really never lays on in here. I have this mirror from Walmart and I really want to get like a nice mirror. I'm wanting to amp it up a little bit. So this is his side of the bed, his nightstand. Just have a humidifier slash diffuser right here. And then his nightstand. And then we just, I like to put some garland above the bed because I feel like the garland really brings it in. If I were to take the garland down, it just looks really empty. And then this is my side. I just got some lotion because it is winter here in Nebraska and you have to have lotion with you at all times, especially after you had just taken a shower. So this is my side. And then I found this bench on the side of the road last August and I decided to paint it and it turned out so good. I actually got this XO pillow at Goodwill. I washed it and then restuffed it. And then this pillow was $5 at Target and it's a Magnolia, um, the Hearth and Hand brand. So I thought that was such a good steal. And then we have young Ashlyn and Jordan that was taken when I was in college. And then this is one wall and then this is the other wall that we have. So the day we got married, then we just have that Mr. and Mrs. thing. That was also at our wedding as well. And the, really the only big complaint I have about this house is the master uh, bathroom does not have any windows. The lighting in here, as you can tell, is very, very yellow. It is not the best lighting ever. I mean, it does the job, but it's not the best and I wish it had a double vanity but hey I can't complain I mean we have a really nice house for only being 21 years old so I think that's great same thing as the other bathroom three drawers and then two cabinets which is a decent enough room for a married couple and then I just kind of decorated the top all of the soap dispensers that look like oil um, old oil dispensers I got from um, Target So we just got some stuff on the walls. These shelves are actually, it came in three and I put the other shelf in the guest bathroom. Just stuff there. And then this is our shower. So the, the master bathroom does have a standing shower like this for the Zelkova houses. And then this is my closet. Like I said, Jordan did have his clothes in here originally when we first moved in together. He just felt like he wasn't here that often and he just decided to give me the whole closet because it was just more convenient and he could just store all of his stuff in just one place.
I hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any questions about the housing or where I got some from in my stuff from in my house, please do not be shy to ask in the comments down below. Also, I had recently just made some TikToks. So in the meantime, when I'm not filming here, I am either on my Instagram or filming on TikTok. So I will link those down below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was really fun to kind of show you what my house looks like. If you're seeing this video and you're a newly married military couple, I highly encourage you to not feel um, upset on looking at other people's videos on stuff that you have or don't have because Jordan and I did get a lot of our stuff from our wedding registry um, when we got married we got a decent amount of stuff and we just have two good families that love to take care of us and love to bless us and help us with anything we need so we did get a lot of stuff from that a lot of stuff from my house also is from Goodwill and garage sales I just like to you know look around and get good deals because I feel like that's the best way to buy things and a lot of my stuff also is from Hobby Lobby. If you're an avid Hobby Lobby shopper, you probably know that you've probably seen a lot of my stuff in the house from Hobby Lobby. But like I said, don't get discouraged because Jordan and I have been married for almost two years and we've been in this house for almost two years. So this takes about two years worth of work getting the house to look this way. So if you don't have everything yet and it doesn't match, don't feel discouraged because it definitely takes time to get everything and to make sure that it's like the aesthetic that you want. Because trust me, our house does not look picture perfect all the time. But that is it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in next week's video. Bye guys. Thank you.